Hey all, I know many of you are anxious to get your sneak peek into the Photoshop Elements 7 and what's different in it from uh, your version. And so I'm just going to provide a quick sneak peek here um, and then do other videos to go into greater detail later. This is the welcome screen that you see when you first uh, start up. Um, I know that in the previous welcome screens uh, we had a little button somewhere where we could choose to skip the welcome screen and go straight to the editor or the organizer whatever we wanted um, could not find that on this welcome screen at all I'm not sure why uh, they eliminated that I did see these little buttons but when I clicked on them it simply scrolls into uh, more uh, information about Photoshop and um, encouraging you to sign up for this uh, Photoshop.com membership. I did not sign up for it um, because I have other online storage and uh, although I was interested in what it looked like I just couldn't justify myself spending that money at this time. And so here is what a Photoshop Elements looks like. Photoshop Element 7, and I know many people did not like this dark background. Um, I've already got a new file here opened, but uh, Photoshop Element 7 does provide a means to change this dark um, gray. And if you go into Edit drop down menu, Preferences, and General, you'll see now down here at the bottom they have appearance options and you can move this slider and make it even darker which is kind of nice because it really makes the white letters stand out or you could move it all the way to make it quite bright and you'll see that the text adjusts and now the text is black rather than white and so we're going to look in it in this view because I think that's what uh, most people are interested in. Of course, I immediately chose Zoom with Scroll Wheel uh, because that's important. That was something in last the last version. And so another thing that you can do is um, once you open your document, you can right click out here on this desktop area and choose to change it to something different. You can go to the dark gray, the gray, black, or you can choose a custom color and make it any color you want. Maybe I want green. But for now, let's go back to the gray. Or actually, I like black. Dark gray. <laughs> I don't know what I want. I'm going to have to play with that. Um, I reviewed the tools over here in the sidebar and uh, most of them are the same but you will find a couple brand new ones. Here is the straighten tool uh, which was not in uh, Photoshop Element 6 and I can see that this is going to be handy and I will just have to show you um, how it works later but I believe uh, that's going to be handy and then here is another one called a smart brush tool and if you um, click on it it uh, brings up this new bar at the top and I was actually playing with it earlier and I will certainly go and show you how it works later but they have um, some really cool uh, adjustments in here and um, this one's brighter, contrast high, darker, greenery, high contrast red filter, lipstick, pearly whites, reverse black on white, sepia, duotone, and very pearly whites. That's under the all-purpose drop-down menu. There's other ones. Here's um, turning things to black and white with different tones. I think that's pretty cool. Color. Changing it to various uh, colors. We're going to go into this deeper. Here's lighting. 
we'll go into it deeper in another uh, tutorial and um, hopefully you can you're reading here because I, I won't have time to review each one of these uh, because this video needs to go on YouTube but here's a uh, nature um, blue skies cloud dark skies greenery sunset uh, photographic and what this does when I was playing with it earlier is um, here's portrait things for uh, making uh, ooh, spray tan I may need that reverse effect and these are all really cool but what this does is over here at the top you'll see that it has uh, something similar to the uh, selection for the quick selection brush tool and what it does is you will select an area of your photo that will apply this using um, some something similar to this quick selection tool which I totally loved in the uh, last uh, version of Photoshop elements and you will select an area of your photo and when you do it also creates a new adjustment layer over here that applies whichever uh, effect you have chosen and um, then you can uh, use the adjustment layer and even tweak um, those things I know some of them will bring up um, for instance the blue sky one if we'll look at it real fast I'll just select something with the quick selection tool even though I don't have anything to select it selects the entire page I can um, use this here to add and subtract from my selection and then this particular one adds a gradient it adds whatever is needed to make that adjustment and I can uh, then go in further from there and make changes to the gradient or to the mask and it's just pretty cool um, let's go ahead and delete here's something I found a little bit annoying the delete trash can button is over here to the right now instead of over here everything is still here but they just move that to the right and you'll have to get used to dragging that um, to a different area um, some other things that I see that are new and I need to go quickly um, divide scan photos I think is here now instead of in the organizer and uh, most of this one is the same I th hear somewhere this correct camera distortion was in Photoshop Element 6 even though I never played with it. I thought there was something new up here but now I'm not remembering what it was. Um, so I'm going to have to quit wasting time because I'm going to run out of time with my video but you can uh, look through here yourself and as I'm scanning to see what you spy over here in the guided mode is something brand new which I will have to go through in more detail later it's taking a moment to come up but over here is a new area for where is it automated I saw it now it's gone automated actions and if you click on this area there's an action player in here and this is where you will be going now to run in the actions that you add to your program and it does come with a few actions already installed um, here's a lose weight action resize and crop and a special effects and I'll be reviewing these more later but my time's up and I hope you've enjoyed this sneak peek